everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Bailey and I'm the owner of Goo Goo Goods. Goo Goo Goods is a dagger bag as well as a mom apparel brand. I'll put all my links below so you can check us out. Today's video is gonna be a little vlog mostly focused on receiving a bunch of apparel as well as dagger bag samples. So if you wanna see what new products are launching soon and you wanna see a little photo shoot, then keep on watching. So my samples from an apparel manufacturer just came today and let's unbox them and check them out. So there are two adult t-shirts and one adult sweatshirt and one toddler sweatshirt in here. So they packed it really, really tight. So let's see how easily I can open this. I understand they probably wanted to make it as compact as possible, but it certainly is. See if I can break these out of here. All right, we broke them out of mail jail. Let's check them out. Okay, so the first sample is this T-shirt. Let's check it out. Of it is this little like Goo Goo Goods little logo in the back. It's printed. Just be yourself. Super cute. The colors on these shirts are so bright and rich, like so cute. The front has that same logo. But the back says, I don't know why I'm crying. That's super duper cute. This is a heavier weight t shirt than the other one, so this is a bit of a thicker material. But I like that. Let me know if you prefer a heavier weight shirt. This one may be too heavy for everyday wear. I like how thick it is, but it might just be a little bit too thick for just, you know lounging around the house or going outside. Maybe too hot. And this is a little kid's one. And it says, super slow walking club. Super cute. So that's a toddler one and that's super soft. I think that's really cute. Let me know what sort of colors you would like to see in a toddler or even adult sweatshirt. If do you want to stay more neutral or more colorful? And this is the adult one. Says all touched out, and on the sleeve it says, I need space. So, this design is puff ink, so it is a raised ink. I think it gives it some good dimension and some vibrant color. Yeah, super cute. I'm still on the fence of if I want to get the embroidery on the sleeve, I might do it myself, or I might have the manufacturer do it. Still on the fence about that. So right now my big thing is trying to figure out if I want to start and go ahead and add the printed t-shirts and some printed sweatshirts to the shop or if I should just do the embroidery stuff first. So let me know if you liked the printed t-shirts and if you think I should kind of do some of those in addition to the embroidery or just let me know what you think. The goal of this Ikea trip was to find hopefully a small desk to help with hooping and filming and to also get some storage containers for embroidery supplies and a few other things. I really wanted a small desk so nothing too crazy so I just decided to go with the tabletop and the legs you can raise or lower. I really really want the flexi spot desk so hopefully in the future that will be in budget. I also got this clothing rack that I thought would be cute for pictures.
Okay, so finally, after waiting months, my bag samples are finally here. I literally ordered these in January, so I'm super happy they're here. This box has seven samples in it, but I'm only gonna show the three bags that are coming in the next launch, hopefully in late April. I don't wanna show the other ones too early, just in case I change my mind or something. You've seen the rainbow bag sample, but you've not seen the sample that's the blue checker pattern that you've seen in previous videos, but not from this manufacturer, but there is a third pattern that's coming out too that you've never seen before. It's taking me a really long time to open this box because they've packed it so tight that I'm afraid I'll cut into a bag that's close to the top while I use my box cutter to cut through the tape, but I finally did it and let's check them out. So this is one of the three launching in April. It's a blue and pink cowboy boot pattern. Super cute, love it. This next pattern you've seen before is the checkerboard one. This is the full lineup of the bags releasing in late April slash early May. We've got the cowboy boot print, checkerboard print, and rainbow. I'm considering doing a pre-order because I've actually gotten a lot of emails asking about when their rainbow bag will be in stock. So I may make these pre-orders so that those who super want one can get one from the website before they're officially in stock. Here's just a little tour of the features of the bag with the pockets and everything. We rented this photo studio space in downtown Orlando from a website called Peer Space, and I should have taken more video of the space, but it was kind of annoying because it didn't really look like the pictures on the listing. The listing made it look really bright and clean, and like there were so many different options of where you could take photos in the space, but it was not really like that at all, so it was pretty disappointing. We still had fun though, and Gabriella got some good shots, but it was just kind of a bad vibe in there. I got this mannequin off Amazon because I saw a few pictures on Pinterest of bags being posed on mannequins and they were super cute so I just went for it. If you liked this video and you like seeing this sort of small business content, please subscribe and like this video so I know you want to keep seeing videos from me. Thanks!
Also, if there are any fun places you know in Orlando to take photos, please leave me a comment so I can check it out. The view she could see her building. Try to tell her I know how I feel it. Keep me flowing when I'm on my bed. Slow me down when I'm living. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because I'm gonna start focusing on doing a couple of embroidery designs on some backpacks. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.